In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to fill down within the spreadsheet. So here we have two very basic spreadsheets. So in the table on the left, we'll work out the population percentage. So to do that, we'll press the equals key in C2, then we'll select the population, then we'll press the divide key, which is the question mark or the forward stroke key on your keyboard. Then we'll type sum, enter, then we'll highlight all the population row here. Then we'll close bracket, then we'll press enter and this will give us the population percentage. Now to fill down, in this case, you want to highlight the cell, and if you see this little yellow tab, you want to click it and hold, and then drag down into the rest of the cells, and this will fill down all the information. Now the table on the left, this will work slightly different. So first we'll work out the percentage of correct answers. So we'll press equals in D3, then we'll select the correct answers here for Paul, then we'll select the divide key, which is the question mark or the forward stroke. Now we'll select the number of questions what was given. Then we'll press enter or the little green tick. So this was 64%. However, let's make it look a bit more neater by changing the cell to a percentage and let's round the decimal places. Now on the world population, we press this little yellow tab and drag down. So let's do that again. And as you can see, we are left with an error. So let's move down into the cell where there's an error. And as you can see, the correct answer part has been dragged down. So in this case, Billy's correct answers. However, if we look at the question part, this has also been dragged down and there's no data in this box. So we are getting an error. And as you can see, as you move down, this is happening in the question box. So what you need to do is you need to lock that cell. So let's Command and Z to get rid of all that data. And let's press the equals key in D3. And let's do the same function again the correct answers divided by the question. But this time we want to lock D2, which is the questions, as we don't want this box to move down as we fill down. So to lock the cell, you want to hold down Command and K. This will quickly lock the cell. So let's Command and Z to put that back. If you don't want to use a keyboard shortcut, you can press this little down arrow here in cell B2 in the function. And then you can select Preserve Row and preserve column. And this means that you're locking in that cell. Then you just want to press the green tick or enter. So now with that function done, let's press the little yellow tab and fill down into the rest of the cells below. And as you can see, we have no errors. So let's tab through the cells. And as you can see, the correct answers is moving down and the question box is locked into place. So that's how to fill down in Apple numbers in two different scenarios. I hope you found that video helpful and if you did check out this playlist here where we have many other Apple numbers spreadsheet demonstrations and thank you for watching.